Yes. You want me to do these last two? Okay. Don't okay. Right. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Sorry. Okay. Maybe you got some photos. Maybe you got some okay. if you want it. Send them out and learn their way. No worries. Okay. We're not 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 okay. we <laughs> What's up? No, go ahead and send him over here. Okay. Bye. You look amazing. Thank you. you look up at us? No, I'm hot as shit. <laughs> Alright, great. I'm supposed to look at y'all. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. And look at him. Don't worry about me, I'm laughing. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Do you want to approach him or do you want him just to turn? I don't know. Probably all of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just turn around on. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> you look good, babe. Thank you. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. I love it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look feisty. Yeah? Yeah. Look. Yeah, it drags down the street. Yeah. I like <laughs> it. Okay. Step up. Step up. Just yeah. fall in. <laughs> Drop your flowers down and then you can like cut in so it won't be really fast. Yeah. More and more. I feel like I. I'm sorry. I told you I won't be able to get this thing. You know? Yeah, kind of. It's not. You gotta like come up just a little bit with the strap on my ankle. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That feels more. Damn. Let me see. I don't want to touch the back strap. Just let the hand. Appreciate it. Uh huh. You didn't tie my shoes for me. Don't ask. Um, Sierra, would you want to rest your head on Dalton's shoulder a little? Uh, whatever's natural for y'all. Just like ways you guys naturally show affection. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go slower.
come together this afternoon in the sight of God to witness and to bless the joining together of Sierra Cortez and Dalton Stubbs in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced the wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love gave us the example of the love of a husband and a wife. Sierra and Dalton have come this afternoon to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Sierra and Dalton, I ask you now in the presence of God and your gathered friends and family to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Sierra, will you have Dalton to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? Dalton, will you have Sierra to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Sierra and Dalton, the Bible teaches us that marriage is to be a relationship of two individuals who are committed to one another as companions on the journey of life. Jesus said that for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and join with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. The home is built upon love, which was best described by the Apostle Paul in the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians, where Paul wrote that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. Love is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on having its own way. Love is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at what is wrong, but rejoices in what is right. And love bears all things. And love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide these three things, but the greatest of these is love. Sierra and Dalton, marriage is a companionship that involves mutual responsibility and commitment. Whenever two companions share a sorrow, the sorrow is hand. And whenever they share a joy, the joy is double. Throughout your lives, you will share together in the joys and sorrows of life. I would urge you to dedicate your home to God. Take God's word, the Bible, as your God. And thus you will unite the mutual strength of the two greatest institutions God has given us in this life, the home and the church. Live your life as God's willing servants, and true happiness will be both your earthly and your eternal reward. May you pray together. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace. Bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Sierra and Dalton, who have come this afternoon to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Help them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sierra and Dalton, if y'all would join hands now and repeat after me the following vows. Dalton, if you would repeat after me this vow to Sierra. In the name of God, I, Dalton, I, Dalton take you, Sierra, take you, Sierra, to be my wife, to be my wife. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better or for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted by death.
And Sierra, if you would repeat the following vow to Dalton after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Sierra. I, Sierra. Take you, Dalton. Take you, Dalton. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. May we now have the rings, please. These rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying the uniting of Sierra and Dalton in holy marriage. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of the gold or silver symbolizes the purity of your love for each other, and the unending circle of the ring symbolizes the eternal nature of the vows you were taking this day. May we pray together and ask God's blessing on the rings. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that as Sierra and Dalton wear them, they may live in your peace, and continue in your favor all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dalton, if you would take Sierra's rings and cut them on her left finger and repeat after me. Sierra, I give you these rings as a sign of my love. And with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I, have I, honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sierra, if you would take Dalton's ring and put it on his left finger and repeat after me. Dalton, I give you this ring, Dalton, I give you this ring. as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. As a sign of the union of their lives and the union of their two families, Sierra and Dalton will now perform the braiding ceremony. Uh, the braiding ceremony consists of three cords that you see on the board to my left. The two dark cords symbolize Sierra and Dalton's two separate families, and the white cord in the center symbolizes the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, who unites Sierra and Dalton as one, and who brings their two families together as one. Would you all would now perform the wedding ceremony. <laughs> Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Sierra and Dalton, 
You have declared your consent and vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and bless and fill you both with his grace. Now that Dalton Stubbs and Pierre Cortez have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one but a son. May we pray together. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in making us a covenant people through our Savior Jesus Christ. And for consecrating in Jesus' name the marriage covenant of Sierra and Dalton. Grant that their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve you in the world. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their deaths. Finally, by your grace, bring them and all of us to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dalton, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> joy to present to you at this time Mr. and Mrs. Dalton Stubbs.
Glad to see you've been paying attention all these years. All right, Sierra, let's get your dad out here. Instagram. 
From a jack to Who chooses where to eat for dinner? From loneliness <laughs> to wait. Got some mixed opinions there. Who will be making dinner every night? And walked away with your heart. Who's more likely to get a traffic ticket? Jack to a king. Don't find out. Okay. Who do you love most in the world? <laughs> Who will be doing the laundry? Who wears the pants in this relationship? <laughs> Who is smarter? <laughs> Who was the bigger geek in school? Geek. <laughs> Who is more likely to get injured? did the money one. Who is more likely to deal with the spider in the back? From a jack to a Who has the smelliest feet? From loneliness to wedding ring. I can smell it from here. I played an ace and a one. All right, I think this will conclude it here. Who spends the most amount of time in front of the mirror? <laughs> All right, thank you guys for playing. Woo! <laughs>